So hello fellow Cloud Engineer and welcome to this lesson about registering into Amazon's AWS. So I have my browser open right now. So we tayo sa Amazon AWS. And mapapansin ninyo na we have very different types. Um, nandito sa baba yung mga different types of products. So we just need to create a new uh, AWS account. So, may kita ninyo, AWS accounts include a 12-month free tier access. Anong ibig sabihin nito? So, we need to go back into our uh, main website. Okay. So, let's learn about uh, the AWS free tier account. So, ito siya. So, what AWS free tier account does is you can play with Amazon's AWS services for the next 12 months and it's free. So basically, you can experiment with the cloud itself for 12 months. So maganda ito dahil we can use this to study AWS in detail and hands-on. So may kita nyo dito, um, uh, gives you around 750 hours of um, databases, 5 gigabytes of storage, 750 hours of server time that you can use, and so much more. So, marami. Marami tayong pwedeng gawin. You can basically play with any of the services of AWS, and it's free for the next 12 months. Um, basta may, may, may konti lang na catch dito. You should not go beyond yung mga free tier uh, numbers dito on our free tier account. Kasi pag sumobra ka dito, you will get charged. But don't worry because later on, magsaset tayo ng uh, alarms when we're already nearing the limits of our free tier account. So, let's create a free tier account right now. Kasi gagamitin natin to for the next uh, couple of lessons that you will be doing hands-on. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng training natin moving forward will be hands-on into the cloud itself. So let's use an email address. So you can use any email address, whether Gmail yan or Yahoo yan. But for me, I'm going to use one of my emails for my companies. And I need to put in a password and an AWS account. So that this one. So let's click on continue. So, you can choose an account whether it's a professional or personal. So, anong ibig sabihin ng dalawang to? Professional means you're going to be creating an account for your company while personal is for your personal use. So, for this example, we're just going to go with personal use. Then, you have to provide a valid uh, cell phone number. So, let's provide mine. Okay, so nakita niyo na cell phone number ko. You can text me there um, if you have any questions. So let's go with Philippines. Okay, then you have to provide your um, address. Okay, so I'm going to choose Benguet. Okay, then I just click uh, the agree for the customer agreement. Now, once you create an account like this, Okay. It's going to ask you for a credit card or debit card number. Now, bakit tinatanong to ng AWS? Because if you go beyond the free tier limit, kailangan nilang i-charge sa'yo yung amount na nagamit mo. So, don't worry. We'll be setting up a billing alarm later. Ang ibig sabihin nun, once, we, um, once malapit na tayong sumobra dun sa free tier limits natin, um, magbibigay ito ng alarm for us. But for some exercises also in our uh, upcoming activities, kailangan talaga natin sumobra or gumamit ng non-free tier uh, service. So for this case, I'm just gonna pause and I'm gonna fill up my details for my credit card and we'll verify and add it. Okay, so I've added my uh, credit card details. Now, I have to re-enter my cell phone number. Now, bakit natin kailangan mag-provide ng valid cell phone number? So, hindi ka pwedeng manghula dito. 
Okay? Because ang mangyayari on the next slide is that tatawag mismo sa'yo si Amazon to confirm your cell phone number. Okay, so let me just enter yung CAPTCHA niya dito, A3G. Then, once I click contact me here, tatawag si Amazon sa akin via my mobile number. So, I have to get my cell phone. I found my cell phone, so I'll click on contact me now. Uh, incorrect. <laughs> so, um, DFP F2P. Okay. So, let's try that. So, may kita nyo, there's a call in progress. So, I just need to wait for the call from Amazon. And I can see na nandito na siya. So, I'll just put yung cell phone ko near my speaker ng headset so that you can hear the announcement. Automated call from Amazon Web Services. Using the touchpad on the phone, please enter the four-digit PIN number that was displayed on your screen. Okay, so enter na natin ang ating four-digit PIN na nakikita nyo sa screen. We have successfully verified your PIN. Please return to Amazon Web Services to complete your registration. Thank you for your interest in Amazon Web Services. Goodbye. Okay, so we have already verified our cell phone number. So let's just click continue here. And now, papipiliin tayo whether we want the basic plan, the developer plan, or business plan. So of course, we're, we're going to be choosing the basic plan because it's free and pinag-aaralan pa lang natin ng AWS. But if you're belonging to a certain company already or uh, you, you can opt to choose your developer plan and business plan. So for now, let's choose the basic plan first. Okay. And that's it. Welcome to Amazon Web Services. So, dito, we can now sign into the console. So, untayin lang natin. And now, we can provide our email address. Oops, that's for my other account. So, Okay, and click next, and let's enter the password. So, untayin lang natin. And now, we're inside Amazon's AWS interface. So, from here, if you click on services, may kita nyo dito na lahat ng pwede natin paglaruan in terms of Amazon Web Services. So that's it for this training and I'll see you on the next lesson.